Today I'm doing a setup of the Focusrite Scarlett Solo second generation USB audio interface. What this device does is it acts as an interface between an instrument such as a guitar or in this case synthesizer Yamaha MM6 and a laptop or PC that is going to record the music that you play on. So this is the unit itself quite a nice looking piece of kit. This is the box it came out of. You can see on the back the various ports. There's a microphone port, a uh, port there for the instrument and headphones. On the back of the device there's a USB socket and left and right uh, speaker inputs. What this doesn't have is a separate power supply as it's powered by the USB. It says here, powered by USB. So don't worry if you open the box and there's no power supply in there. Everything's taken care of by the USB. Before connecting everything up, what you should do is download the driver for the device. And that can be found at focusrite.com slash downloads. Uh, pick the product type. So that's the Scarlet Solo second gen. And then just download the, the Windows driver. So then go ahead and run the driver once the once it's in, once it's downloaded. pretty quick now you will probably be asked at the end of the install to do a restart so just go ahead click finish and the laptop or PC will restart okay so once the laptop has rebooted what you want to do is connect the interface to the laptop using the supplied USB cable came in the box. Just plug that into the back of the device. And the other end into your laptop. Uh, what you'll see is the green power LED light up. That shows you that it's taking power from the laptop. In your Windows laptop or PC Go into control panel and then click sound. What you'll see is the Focusrite USB device has been set to the default device for playback and recording. So you don't need to change those manually. What you want to do then is whatever speakers you're using as your setup, you want to connect the speaker cables to the back of the Scarlet Solo device. So here I'll just take my red and white cables left and right to the back there. And finally the instrument itself you just take a standard instrument lead, guitar lead, plug that into the front of the Scarlet Solo device. So once everything's connected you can come to your instrument and whatever you play should come through the interface and that's the speakers. Now the volume can be adjusted with the monitor at the front of the device. Turn that up. So in order to record the music that you play, if you look at the front of the, the box, see it includes Ableton Live Lite, Pro Tools and so on. Um, what you do is you register the device 
and then you're sent a code, you can go onto the various websites, you can download that software. What I'm just going to show you quickly is how to record music using um, this setup and Audacity, which is uh, free to download. In Audacity, just go into the Edit menu and Preferences. Um, what should be set up in terms of the interface, the host should be Windows Direct Sound, Playback Device, Focusrite USB, and the Recording Device, Focusrite USB. Then just add a track, add new stereo track, start recording. Then once you're at your instrument, whatever you play should be recorded using the interface and the software on the laptop. So I'll just stop that from recording. Just trim it a little bit. Play back. So that's just a quick video showing you how to set up the Focusrite Scarlett Solo second generation USB audio device, which acts as an interface between an instrument and your laptop for playing and recording. Thanks for watching.